Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We filled up a full case break of the brand new 2018-19 Panini Contenders Basketball 12 box. Pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Um, just a quick note right here. No vet base will ship, but everything else will, obviously. RCs, inserts, parallels, numbered cards, obviously. The two autos per box, obviously, will ship. Traditionally, Contenders Basketball has been some really hot stuff. Um, this is the kind of stuff that you find in repack products. This is the kind of stuff you grade. This is the kind of stuff you hang on to. Cracked ice of certain top rookies are going to go for a zillion dollars on a secondary market. So it's really good stuff right here. So here on Boxing Day, 12 box, pick your team one, 2018-19 Contenders Basketball. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting to the action, whether you're watching live or the replay on YouTube. Thank you very much. Rick Barker and Mark Matheson. Two lucky SOBs because they got the Suns and the Kings in the spot randomizer that we ran a little bit earlier. And there you go. Good luck. All right. So here it is. 12 boxes, 12 packs per box, 10 cards per pack, two autos per box. This is pick your team number one. We've got plenty, ladies and gentlemen. So if you missed out on the first time, do not miss out on subsequent times. <clears throat> Now I'm pretty sure that this, that like the football version of this takes like an hour and a half, I think. Football version is coming out soon too, which I'm excited about. But football version takes a little while. I'm pretty sure basketball version doesn't take as long as football version, right? I think the boxes are smaller. Anyhow, still fun stuff. Contenders is great. We do, we do a lot of this, both sports every year. Here's who's on the box right there. These are the main guys that you're looking for. Now, unfortunately, it's John Samson pointed out a little bit earlier, no checklist yet for this contenders, which is a little, it's a bit of a bummer, but I appreciate everybody who who gave this a shot. Sans checklist. I'll lose here too. I lose. Here's the thing. I think we've we've done a few of these breaks, all, or like a few 18, 19 basketball products already. As far as the rookies are concerned, I think you pretty much know who the checklist is going to be. The checklist, and then after that, it's just a matter of, hey, maybe we can find some, you know, some vets in there or something like that. Like vet autographs or Hall of Fame autographs that they sometimes slip in here, so. All right, good luck, everybody. Relax, settle in. I've got NBA TV on right now. Listen, football season is going to be over soon. There'll be fewer and fewer football products as, as the year goes on. And then we'll transition, start transitioning into more basketball as well as um, baseball. It's kind of crazy to think about. but All right. Box number one. Good luck, everybody. Looking for two autos. Nice design. I like the big shield in the background. Contenders always has a real nice, clean look. Is that our first autograph? It is. Jerome Robinson. For the Clippers. Who's got the clip show? That'll be Lou. There you go, Lou. So just in the interest of time, we'll breeze through these. Obviously, stuff like this will shit. Right? In fact, we'll set this aside. These are some of the first cards of LeBron in his Lakers jersey. And I know some of the inserts... We'll, we'll end up going for a lot on a secondary market. Obviously, we'll save these two. In the interest of time, we're just going to set these aside, and we'll have our sorting and shipping team sleeve and top load those before they get sent out, unless it's like a one-of-one -one or something like that. Obviously, I'll sleeve that up right away. Protect that from the get-go. That's a, that's a cool looking card right there. And, wow, nice. 48 out of 199 for the Kings. Remember Mitch Richmond? There's legendary contenders right there. There you go, Mark Matheson with that one. There you have it. Now let's see if we can find, those are our two autographs. I'll set these aside too, just because they're die cuts. We want to protect those. But let's see if we can find some other parallels, like the Rudy Gobert. 
maybe, I don't know, maybe train whistle parallel. It's pretty cool. I like this design, like the points on there and everything. All right, there you go. Box one of the books. It's a breeze. And it looks like it's going to be about five minutes a box. So 12 boxes, I'll take us about an hour. So sit back and relax, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I was in, uh, I was in Las Vegas. I've been, we've been talking about this all day. I was in Las Vegas for the Christmas holiday. And um, I was uh, visiting my sister. My kid sister lives and works in Vegas for the win. So I was hanging out around town. My cousin Dave was with me. I don't get to see him too often. So, so we, we, were, we were gambling and goofing off and whatnot. Put a little, uh, as I am wont to do for entertainment purposes only, put a little money down on some basketball games, the Christmas games. Now, Nick and I had learned that the trend for Christmas games, they tend to go under. And I think only two of the five games went under that day. <laughs> but they were all first half unders. Could be a trend to look out for next year if you keep that in mind. What, did, what, did, what plays did I... Let's see if I can re remember these. If I look at this other screen, I might be able to remember it. I'll, I'll give you my NBA play. I didn't have them posted or anything like that, but just for just for discussion, I'll tell you what I had. Come on, Joe. It's been a long day, flying around. I haven't done this in a while, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's do this box first, and we'll and we'll talk picks. All right, two more auto. We'll find out who the redemptions are. That's autograph one. I like these two. I'm sure some of these are numbered, right? Yeah, not this one, but I'm sure we'll see the parallels too. Bill Mosher, the Celtics and Sixers were 224 in the total. When they went to overtime, your heart sank. Do you have the under as well? So did I. No, Nick had the under. I didn't, I didn't take the under in that game, actually. Once it was in overtime, because Nick had me place some uh, some wagers on his behalf. Yeah, it was... Once it went to overtime, I was like, oh, sad times. Oh, you know what? I had... We'll go through these in the next... I'll tell you in the next box. More legendary contenders. 17 out of 25. Nice Chauncey Billups. Pistons edition. Weren't the Pistons just sitting there? No one wanted the Pistons until John Hyanga picked them up and pick your team number one. Did he did he win a did he win a did he win a chip with the Pistons? Or did they run into my Lakers and they didn't? I forget. Let me angle this down a little bit here. John Tanner said, no, no it's, the feds aren't watching an hour-long break of 2018-19 contenders basketball. Wait. Oh, that, there you go. That's autograph one. There's autograph two. They're not watching this. All right. Rookie variation season ticket, Vincent Edwards. Everyone knows where Vincent Edwards goes, right? I'll test you guys. Where does Vincent Edwards go in this set? From Middleton, Ohio, went to Purdue, second round pick, Jazz, EA, not the Rockets, Jazz. So that goes to Thomas F. with Utah. He's currently with the, wait, no. You're right, EA. No, 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 he was selected by the Jazz. Oh, this is, see, this is what's confusing without a checklist. He is with the... Okay. This is going to go to Houston. I know we're making a big deal out of a second-round pick, 52nd overall. 
But on draft night, he was traded to Houston. You're right, EA. I'm wrong. Drafted by the Jazz, but traded to Houston. So this will be Houston edition of Vincent Edwards. So apologies, Thomas. I know you wanted this G League or really bad, but instead it'll go to it'll go to Thomas, who has the who has the Rockets. Well, we got it right. That's the key, Thomas. We got it right. Oh, and John has a prism card of him right in front of me. He's on the Rockets. There you go. There you go. So Dennis is saying they did win in 2004. All right. So there's there's champion champion Chauncey, right there. Some friends from Michigan who adore Chauncey Billups because of that shit. All right. I'll, my picks on Christmas Day. Picks on Christmas Day. First game. Milwaukee minus 10. I had, uh, I was, I was thinking of taking the Knicks at home, getting double digit points. And then I heard two voices in my head. I heard the voice of Jaspi regular John Okre. And I heard the voice of Jaspi regular Roy Wagner, both Wisconsin, both Milwaukee guys, saying, you picked against, every time the Bucks win, you picked against the Bucks? Yo, they're, they're hot. They're playing hot basketball right now. What are you talking about? So, went with Milwaukee minus 10, they won. Um, I had... I had Oklahoma City money line. Uh, the game was pick 'em by the time I, I put I put money in, but game was a pick 'em minus one ten. You're not going to pay Vegas that, right? So you take the money line plus one hundred, even money. They lost. <laughs> I thought they were I thought they were going to get close. So OKC to win outright, nothing. Philadelphia. This is the game that Bill was talking about. Bill Mosher was talking about. Um, Philadelphia plus four at. The Garden at Boston. Now, I thought I thought they were going to do it. I thought they were going to win. But once they tied, once it went to overtime, I was like, nope. Done. Nice. More legendary contenders. Horace Grant. Lakers edition of Horace Grant. 108 out of 199. That'll go to Lou. The Lakers. That's autograph one. We should be expecting one more. So once it went to overtime, it was all over. I knew it. It was going to be all over. But I had the Lakers plus 340 on the money line. Kemba to 199. Hornets. And the Lakers, without LeBron for like a quarter and a half, at the end of the game, they won. Lakers won straight up. They blew out. They blew out the Warriors. So I had Lakers at plus 340. So that saved me. Then I had the Trailblazers plus six. But I had the under on that game, which I think was under by like half a point. It's 214 and a half, and I think the game was 214 total. Man, Vegas knows how to dial them in. I know this guy. Wow! 19 out of 20, rookie ticket autograph, Luka Doncic. That goes to Thomas, Thomas F. with the Dallas Mavericks. Woo! Wow. What is that, a few thousand dollars? I always love this cracked ice design too. Always one of my favorites. What a hit. See? Aren't you glad we did this tonight? Draymond. Cracked ice 25. There's bids on one at 1500. How much time left, EA? We'll we'll see how we'll we'll keep an eye on that. See how that ends. Yeah. Yes. John Samuelson. Absolutely. 
Yeah, that that's absolutely a ring, no train whistle. We gotta set that aside for, for picture time right now. Want buy it now? There's one for ten thousand dollars. There you go, Thomas. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas and all that. Yeah, Draymond not playing well this season. Draymond was also, I'm pretty sure, the leading scorer in that Lakers golden team. Listen, the Lakers lucked out. It it really took the Lakers being on point. Right? And just playing out of their minds and defense. And then the and coupled with the Warriors, like not playing well at all. So I got lucky on that one. I was thinking I was gonna well, that's why they call it gambling. But I took a position. It was a strong position, and then so I ended up. What did I end up with? I, I think I, I think I ended up plus thirty percent, ladies and gentlemen. Plus thirty percent. Oh, and then I had, and then I had some nice. Uh, <laughs> I lucked out on some some uh, Raiders plays too on Monday. This is yeah. This is a pick or two bill. John Samuelson. Um, the Orleans says hi. I was pl I was at the sports book at the Orleans, and lost money playing craps there. But one money back, blackjack at the palms. Eighteen out of twenty-five. Devonte Graham. Good old ten-dollar blackjack at the palms saved my. My table weekend. <laughs> you used to see those in the sleep, in your sleep. How long ago was that? When, when, when did you, when did you not do that job anymore? That's nice uh, die cut for LeBron. Cards are the same. There's Pau Gasol to 99, Spurs edition. Ninety-eight to nine. Oh, not very long. I thought it was. I thought maybe it was. I thought it was like a five, five, six-year thing. It's just as you remember, it, John Samuels. I think little has changed since the late '90s. I'm pretty sure the car design hasn't changed since then either. They use the same ones, just a different color on the font. And it's a fox in the box. Sophomore contender, 25 out of 25, De'Aaron Fox. Nice one for Mark and the Kings. Got the Kings in a spot random, if you remember, for those of you keeping score at home. Nice one, Mark. Is the Orleans, I don't, does the Orleans have a buffet? They changed that restaurant in the middle. There was like a, a kind of a, there's kind of a, 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 a not very good food court that was in the middle of there, but they moved into a nice like, uh, into a, like a restaurant and they've got like a nice like Chinese or Japanese restaurant they opened next door to that. So some food options have improved significantly. They remodeled the sports book, I think, five or five, ten years ago. So that's also nicer too. Ah, it was a okay. So it was a, it was a a summer job kind of thing. Palms is nice though. I like the palms too. They built a huge uh, standalone hotel behind the main palms. There's another big tower back there. There's no casino there. It's just on the other side of the parking structure. And they're, they're doing a lot of renovations there too at the palms, which looks really nice. They added some new steakhouses. They're renovating a ton of stuff. Looks great, actually. We were taught. I don't know if you were listening earlier, John, but we were taught in the in a different break. I think Bowman Draft. We were talking about uh, Jaspi Fest 
and how maybe we can find like a, a small banquet room, banquet hall or banquet room, I guess, dinner room, meeting room at one of the hotels there. Maybe there, maybe when the Raiders eventually move there, do a little Raider game, do a little Jaspi trading and some live group breaks. People can, can come to Vegas, bring their cards and trade with other Jaspi regulars. And then we'll see, oh, this is what John Samuelson, this is what Bill Mosher looks like. This is what Eric, Eric Ange looks like, you know? Do that. Wow. The hits just keep on coming. 199 out of 199, a wild cat has appeared. That's Carl Anthony Towns. That is for the uh, Timberwolves, Jerry Bennington. So De'Aaron Fox, Luka Doncic, Great start. I think we do need a Jaspi Fest. I think we'll be we'll be ready to do that in the, in in a in a couple of years maybe. Maybe we'll do like a a very casual Jaspi Fest. Maybe for week one of football next year. Maybe I'll just be like, you know, hey, I'm going to Vegas for the weekend. <laughs> Who wants to join me? Let's all meet here, and let's I don't know. Let's let's get weird. Let's see what happens. You know, do like a an impromptu meetup and just hang out. And then we'll see if we can build that into something something a little bit more formalized, I guess, maybe with a schedule or something like that. More Timberwolves. 10 out of 25, Keda Bates Diop. It's a Timberwolves box. Jerry Bennington with both autos. Bill Mosher saying, Circus Circus has the most meta restaurant. You went in on a lark at 2 a.m. They had a late night buffet. Always safe. Uh, with an entire Asian Elvis band playing. You thought you were in a David Lynch movie. That does sound like a David Lynch movie. All right, out of 135, Donovan Mitchell. I tried to learn Baccarat at the Palms, which is kind of both easy and not at the same time. I don't know. It's kind of a weird game. All right, next box. Fell in love with a cocktail waitress, at a, which probably happens all the time <laughs> at the Palms. Got yelled at by a guy at a laundromat. That was fun. Rick Barker, who got the Suns in a spot random. Looking for DeAndre Ayton. Let's go Suns, he says. We got plenty of boxes to go. I want to get one of each of these guys. Right, that'd be a good break. Do I fly or drive? Um, it depends. I flew this time. I was. Uh, I knew I was going to be working today. In previous years, I've I've driven there. And then the day of work, I would drive back in the morning. I would come straight to work and then do the sh do like go live. And I was just like, I just can't do that. There's Michael Porter Jr. Nice. Denver Nuggets. That'll be for D Mac in Denver. So this time I flew. Does McCarran still have those disgusting... Are there smoke? I don't think so. I don't think they allow anyone to smoke there anymore. Um, I was... I, I flew Alaska. Markel Fultz to one. What is happening with Markel Fultz? I flew Alaska, so... Um, I think they're in a new terminal. I think Terminal 3 has been kind of newly renovated, so... It's, it's a little fancier.
Nice. Job. We're, are these are these all like summer summer side jobs in between the school year? John Samuelson, you must have stories. Rented cars at McCarran as well. We've got playoff tip playoffs. Bruce Brown out of sixty five. Another one for the Pistons. We're just sitting there. One of the last teams picked up. Wait, how long did you live in Vegas, John Samuelson? What is your story, John Sam? Where are you from? How long have you lived in Vegas? Now you're in the Pacific Northwest. Wait, you're originally from the Pacific Northwest. Carl Anthony Towns out of 135. Yeah, the airport slot machines. I resisted. I saw I saw the Buffalo slot machine. Buffalo! And I, I, I avoided putting a $20 bill in there. Oh, you lived there for eight years. Oh, you're originally from Khalil Mack's new team's town. Right, that's right. But you're in the Pacific Northwest now. Did you like the last way? I mean, I was, you'd stay there for eight years, but did you did you like it? My sister seems to like it. She doesn't really gamble, so I think I think that's right. It all makes sense now. No, I know you told me. Just forgot. Um, my sister doesn't gamble. It's good for her. So I think I think she does all right there without getting in trouble. I'm pretty sure if Nick and I moved to Vegas and opened up a, a Jaspie's Vegas office, <laughs> Jaspie's Vegas studio. Maybe a lot of accounting errors. Why is this money being funneled to? <laughs> yeah, so you're you're all over. Vegas, Todd in Chicago, Madison, Vegas, Anchorage, Austin, now Portland. Los Angeles needs some edu some smart educators. John Samuelson, you want to help us out? LA, LA, LA Unified needs your help. You know the heat is not that bad, Phil. I've I've visited my sister in the summer, a number of times. You're never outdoors. That's the thing. Another redemption. You're never outdoors. You go for, you run from your house, your front door. You run to the car, right? You get in, AC blasting, right? And then you go to wherever you go. Every restaurant, every store, every casino, every hotel, every place you go, they, are, they have the best AC ever, and they're just blasting it. It's Arctic. And that's it. And then late at night, it actually becomes kind of pleasant. You've only been between October and March. That's not bad. Those times aren't bad. Fall is great. Spring is great. We've got nice Zaire Smith, five out of twenty-five cracked ice. That's our second cracked ice auto. This one goes to the 76ers. Randy Starr with the Sixers. Pick your team one, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. I enjoy visiting. I don't know if I could live there. That'd be difficult. There's Steph. Got a 135. All right, redemption time. It's going to be... MVP Contenders, oh, this has been a great case. MVP Contenders Autograph, card number one, Kevin Durant. 
I've heard of this guy. KD for the Golden State Warriors, Mark Matheson. That adds up. Pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice, Mark. <laughs> Looks like the stuff is loaded, ladies and gentlemen. Good thing we got plenty of it. a little bit next box good luck great case so far wait you think Kevin Durant's gonna be a Nick William Phil Mosher's thinking that he's like chances you get that redemption before KD is an uh, is a Nick 0.09% I think he hmm does he want to go to the Knicks Where does Kevin Durant go? All right, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Rookie ticket autograph, Trey Young. I've heard of this guy too. Alexander G with the ATL. Nice. Kevin Durant, Trey Young, Luka Doncic, Carl Anthony Towns, Chauncey, etc., etc., etc. There's Luca again. All the all, all of these inserts, of course, will go. Finals ticket at a 99. Danny Green, Raptors. I like these ones. See, these are Chrome versions right here too. Of course, they they will ship. Haven't seen any numbered yet. I'm sure some of them could be autographed too. EA is looking for some, some Bulls and Knicks. Well, none in this box, EA, but we got plenty to go. 128 out of 199. Lonnie Walker, the fourth, up and coming for the Spurs. Rick Barker, San Antonio. Bill, Bill Mosher's prediction, Anthony Davis to the Lakers, KD to the Knicks. Porzingis and KD. Some Kevin Knox on the side. That's not bad. Out of 25, you got Robert Ory. Big Shot Rob. Spurs edition. You think Anthony Davis comes to the Lakers in free agency? It's a playoff ticket or during a or in a trade? Would love Anthony Davis. But I don't know if that's going to... I don't know if that trade is actually going to happen. I mean, maybe the Lakers eventually get him in free agency, but in a trade scenario, I don't know if that's going to happen. Dennis is saying that Davis stays. Immaculate, hi Richard, Immaculate 9 video. Huh. I don't think I uploaded it. Hmm. All right, well, Richard, I'll have to find it after this break. I'm almost done. And then I'll upload 
Immaculate nine. I'm surprised no one else said anything. I forgot. It's my first day back from vacation, Richard. So, not as sharp. Yes, absolutely, Richard. I'll, I'll take care of that after this break. I'll find. I have, to, I have to find it. We've done a lot of videos. I have to make sure I don't re-upload the wrong ones. All right. So Dennis is saying Anthony Davis stays until free agency. So from there, I'm not not sure if the Pelicans are are able or even willing to uh, to pay what Anthony Davis is, is going to get, or if he wants to commit long term to the Pelicans. He probably gets the most money. There it is. Rookie ticket autograph on those contenders optic cards, those chrome cards, EA. See, I told you some of them are going to be autographed. It's Wendell Carter Jr. for EA and the Shy Town Bulls. Da Bulls, da Bulls, da Bulls, da Bulls, da Bulls, da Bulls, da Bulls. Da Bulls, da Bulls, da Bulls, da Bulls. Kobe. 22 out of 25 cracked ice for the Lakers. Lou with my Lakers. No worries, EA. Thanks for getting in. Out of 135, Joel Embiid, Sixers. And for the Suns, Elio uh, Okobu. I saw the Suns logo. I thought it was going to be somewhere, someone else. But still a hit nonetheless, Rick Barker, for the team that you won in the spot random. 64 out of 65. Kobe has to hate Chappelle for popular. Is that where it came from? From Chappelle Show? I don't remember that. Dave Barrows, what's going on? Well, unfortunately, you have caught us kind of at the end of the night. We, I might be able to do a personal box or two of Panini Prism Basketball Retail Edition, but I think uh, I think the Big Hit Express has run out of steam. <laughs> I just Today, I just got back from my holiday earlier this morning. I'm all discombobulated a little bit forgetting to upload videos for Richard. All right, three boxes to go. About 15 minutes to go in this break, ladies and gentlemen. We are almost there. Boys and girls, I think we're going to... Unless someone wants to do a personal box or two, I think we're going to call it after this. That'll pretty much bring us to, to the end of the evening anyway. We're not going to be too... Um, I had camera issues. So we, were, we were late start today. I had camera issues. But tomorrow will be a normal day. So we'll be right back on track. Oh, good night of rest. We'll be back on my normal schedule. No Thursday night football to distract us. We'll be able to dive into probably Donner's Optic football. will probably be full by tomorrow by the time I go on air. So we'll start with that. I'm sure we'll do some more of this basketball now that we've kind of seen the quality here. Even without a checklist. We don't need no checklist. Car Anthony Towns, 199. Great case, right? So far, so good. I mean, Contender's always a solid product every year. I'm a fan of it. As I've been saying, and I'll say it all the time, you know, we really want, we're really going big on the hoops this year. I mean, it was a great draft class last year. We did some nice hoops. Going bigger on hoops this year because it's another nice draft class. And 
We're anticipating a big draft, so that way we can get even more for next year, which should be another great draft class. So put on your hoops hats, folks. Anthony Simons for the Trailblazers. Mike Tobin with Portland. Who I'm discovering. Who I'm discovering. I feel like they're doing... They don't play as well on the road. They do well at home. Some nice parallels here, too. So that's our that's autograph one. There's autograph... Or that's autograph one. There's autograph two. So we're just looking for parallels here now. Like this Hassan Whiteside, 135. Yeah, that's right, Gilo. Next year is going to be that special. Those two, two Duke kids. Zion and RJ. Kevin Huter for the uh, Hawks. Rookie variation season ticket autograph. It's like one of those like newspapers. I go. <laughs> Alexander with the ATL. That's what I think of, folks. This is what goes through my head. Two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck, boys and girls. It's been a nice break. It helps that some nice hits being pulled out of here as well. My eeny, meeny, miny, mo method pulled the right case. I hope all the cases are this loaded. What if they're even better? Jaspiescasebreaks.com, folks. we got plenty. Full case, pick your teams. They don't take very long. Um, this is a breeze, actually. I'm sure we'll have, uh, eventually we'll have some... Uh, I think our first round of cases that we ordered, I think we're reserving for pick your teams, I think. I mean, it could change. Keep checking back. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. But, but I think the, the first round of cases are going to be reserved for full case pick your teams. And then I think when we get a couple more cases, I think we're going to kind of break them down into maybe sort of bite-sized random team breaks, perhaps. And that gives people a chance I like the big expensive teams too, but like, you know, maybe a three or four box break. 12 boxes per case. 12 boxes per case. And we got more legendary contenders for the Bucks. 005 out of 199. There's Marquez Johnson. I don't remember this guy. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks. Thomas. Thomas got the Bucks. Maybe he remembers this guy. Ooh, some more cracked ice coming up. Non-auto cracked ice. And it's going to be for EA and the Bulls. There's your Lori Markinen Season ticket cracked ice. One out of 25. Nice cracked ice. And your second autograph is, look at this, what a case. There's Colin Sexton. And that Contenders Chrome design, Contenders Optic design. Nice. Cavs, TC. With a Colin Sexton. On card auto. Very nice. So we're seeing some nice legends. We're seeing some of the top rookies in this set. We're seeing some nice parallels. Folks, we got more of this on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Get into it. As I said at the beginning of the break, a lot of these contenders, a lot of people consider these to be, you know, the ones that you hold on to for the rookies. The ones you hold on to, the ones you try to grade. You, you generally find prism and contenders and select, I think. 
those are the products that you'll end up finding in those like Leaf Best of Basketball buyback products and TriStar, you know, and that sort of stuff. And the Super Break stuff, you know, like that, that's where you'll find, you'll find graded versions of these. Are we going hard knocks on that EA? Are we going hard knocks? What about Fort Knox? No, hard knocks kind of sounds better. Unless it's like a gold variation in some future set. Oh man, I can't wait for that. I'll have to log that away. Yeah, if we get a DeAndre Ayton for Rick Barker out of here, that'll definitely be, that'll put the, a very nice cherry on top of this break. All right, kids, last two autographs. Very uh, big thank you to everyone for rallying around this break and filling it up. We did that. We filled up that spot randomizer really fast, too, so I appreciate that. It's always nice to see at least one case of the new release. I'm glad we knocked it out. We've got more Pistons. Mark Aguirre. Wasn't he a... Dallas Maverick? Spur, maybe? I feel like I don't associate him, with him as a Piston. But there you go, Pistons. Legendary contenders going to John Hyanga. We've got a one-of-one one Mike Conley. Ooh. Wow. Championship ticket. Can't even say it. Champ ticket. Chip tick. One of one for Jeremy Merle and the Grizz. The Grizz actually having a solid season. This guy having a great season too. Jeremy Merle and the Grizz. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Pulling a one of one never gets old, ladies and gentlemen. I've been doing this for years. Still is, still is a cool thing to me. <laughs> All right, so we got that legendary contender, Mark Aguirre. Looking for one more autograph. Maybe a DeAndre Ayton for Rick Barker. Or maybe the guy that EA was looking for, Kevin Hard Knox, 26 out of 49. Finals ticket autograph. There you go, EA. I'm glad you didn't have to wait until, and I know you would have done it too, until pick your team eight <laughs> to get some of these hits. See, now it's now you can just join breaks. You're up already, EA, up already. All right, let's see if there's any other low-numbered parallels here. I actually don't know how is how is Kevin Knox doing? I have no idea. You're welcome, EA. Your future your future contenders rate can be can be joined uh, a little less stress free. It's a little stress free, a little bit less. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. What a break! In fact, I, I think it's kind of worth going through these again. So, you know, there's there's a number nine pick right there. You got a one of one. You got some legends. You got Colin Sexton, right? You got the Kevin Huderay, who's actually been playing some good ball for the Atlanta Hawks. You got Wendell Carter Jr., right? You got Trey Young. You got Kevin Durant. You got some cracked ice. Michael Porter Jr. in there. Some Carl Anthony Towns. Fox in the box. Some, some old legends right here. Chauncey. Man. And, of course, 19 out of 20. Luka Doncic, cracked ice. Unbelievable. What a break, ladies and gentlemen. Great one. Uh, and a lot of great parallels as well. Thanks for getting in. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. There'll be more basketball on, on the store. So check it out. We'll pull some more monsters like this guy. See ya.